first learn how to use this and then I'll teach you how to use this in the comment section name the movie but yeah the cool stuff you find at eviction houses So yeah, right now I am at uh, one of my real estate investment properties that uh, I had to take back. Uh, the people stopped paying and went through the whole process, tried to work with them, but uh, it just didn't work out. Um, was communicating, 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 and then all of a sudden silence, uh, and it's been silence ever since. Uh, so I am at the property, and if you're not aware, I do invest in real estate uh, along with other income sources. If you're curious on my strategy, what I do, how I structure my real estate strategy, then just go back and you can watch episode five of Trader Life. I do a whole big, uh, you know, spiel on that. So I'm not gonna, you know, beat that dead horse again. But I figured in this video, uh, give a little bit more of uh, kind of just the underbelly of investing, uh, especially real estate investing. Uh, you know, the real estate investing is no different than the world of stock trading or, you know, just the world of late night infomercials. You know, a lot of people will portray all the glitz and glamor of it. And don't get me wrong, I mean, real estate investing is definitely uh, a, a great thing, a great way to, to uh, create income for yourself, in my case, passive income. But there is definitely, you know, the trade-off, you know, the underbelly of real estate, if you will. So that's what I kind of want to go over here and ideally document this journey over the course of, um, you know, where we're at now to where ideally uh, whatever my exit plan is. I think I know what my exit plan is and that is just to, to resell it again. Uh, but um, I don't know, you, you never know, real estate can be changing, but right now uh, we'll at least document kind of the eviction process, check out the house. Uh, today it is getting cleaned out. Uh, I'm meeting the court officer here, which is just part of the legal system here in Michigan. Uh, the court officer has got to be, I guess, technically speaking, uh, you know, because the, 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 the uh, people could still be inside and the court officer here just to mitigate any sort of drama, but uh, you know, the people are, are, are long gone at this point. So I don't think anybody's gonna jump out of a window and try to strangle me, but uh, was that too violent, Nate? Am nah. I getting too violent? Nah. But uh, yeah, so um, yeah, I, I have not yet been inside. Nate, who you've met on past episodes, uh, he was already over here, he changed the locks. He met the clean out crew guy. So he's kind of like, he's he wears many caps within the business. He does all the IT stuff, the website stuff, but then he's also kind of like a project manager when it comes to real estate stuff. Uh, so he's changed out the locks, he's been inside. I have not yet. So I'm kind of curious to get in there. Um, so let's go take a look. Stains, carpets. I don't know. What do you think about the carpet? Well, cleaning might work. I don't know. It depends what these stains are. Blood. Blood. Who knows? Maybe it's not. So for those of you that um, are maybe thinking about getting into real estate, something that uh, a buddy proposed to me, and I don't know why I never figured it out, but uh, if somebody has stopped paying you, ask them, hey, are, can you still at least afford trash service? If not, I will pay for trash service for you because I guess this is how sad it gets. I, I, apparently they couldn't afford trash service anymore. So they literally, as you see, threw it out on their back deck. So um, a quick tip that I am gonna be starting to do, um, if somebody stops paying, we have to start to go through the eviction process. I'm gonna ask the person, do you still have trash service? If not, I'm going to pay for it for you so that you don't have to do this. You First off, I mean, nobody should really live like that. And then second off, it's a win-win for both people because from the investment standpoint, I don't want to have to deal with paying somebody to clean all this stuff up. So I'd rather just pay for trash service. So uh, definitely a tip if you're uh, wanting to get into real estate, something that, um, yeah, I, I don't know why I never thought about that, but it makes a whole lot of sense and it's a win-win for both parties. Trash everywhere. But to be honest, this isn't that bad. This is not that bad. Uh, I realize it looks bad, but this is what you want in real estate investing. You want ugly, nasty houses um, that can be cleaned up and turned around, especially when you look at the neighborhood. Uh, it's definitely, in real estate, you want the ugly house in the nice neighborhood. And if, when you look at the houses around us, there are definitely some nice houses, well-kept houses, 
Not this one though. So we're probably the house that the neighbors get mad at, but that's what you want. You want, you don't want the best house in the neighborhood. You want something where you can provide and give value to it. So, uh, and that's what we have here. So I realize this is, need some books, Nate? I'm good. That's our thing with water, like gas and electric, they'll just come in and turn it off. But water, at least here in Michigan, they'll let it run. And then they just slap the lean, uh, lean against your house for unpaid water bills. So I haven't checked that yet. So who knows what that might be like. Okay, fridges, real estate, highly risky. <laughs> the power's still on, so it shouldn't be too bad. Eggs. To... Oh, sour cream, I'm sure that smells great. Ah, I was hoping they'd have some ice cream up here. There's some pop cards in the other room. There are? Yeah. Oh. Come on. Come on, come on, come Oh, why you gotta tease me like that? Cheese puffs! <laughs> Eat one. Nah. Come on. Nah. I wonder what the expiration date on these is. You need some mouse traps? Nope. Look at this thing. They're like their syrup. Just one gallon. That's good stuff there. That's America. Here's another clue they were struggling. Little Caesars, hot and ready, hot and ready. Look at all those Little Caesar boxes. I've seen your counter look like that before. <laughs> <laughs> That's only when Abby's gone. <gasps> oh, it's one of those things that you wear in your head and put your hands in. <laughs> put this on, Nate. Uh, no. Put it on. No. How much for me to put it on? <laughs> I honestly want to keep, this is sweet. I think these things sell for decent money. Right. Oh, totally just demo. Who is this? Mark Kendall. I hope these stairs don't collapse on me. Nice. Washer, dryer, good. I don't remember if we had those or if they included those in there. Caught coffee maker. Oh, yeah. All right. How many TVs do these people need? Another two over there. Goodness. Water heater, furnace, that's good. I bring that up because at uh, another one of the houses, the people literally just took out the furnace. Like, it's gone. We're, we're taking that with us. Which I could have gone after them in court. Uh, I, I guess the court officer, something like that. Like, no, you're, you can't do that. Uh, but I decided not to because you, you look around and you see all this stuff and it's just, you know, I knew the person had a couple kids, so it's like, all right, they're clearly going through enough struggle already. So there's no need to rub salt in the wound. So I'm like, have the furnace. If that helps a little bit more, then so be it. But good, I'm glad to see the furnace there. Ooh, here we go. Now I like watching. Oh, yeah. I am the champ of the W. I don't want to get sued. So what, it's WWE now, right? I'm taking this. I should wear this around the house. <laughs> this is worth it too. Look at this. Is that middle part spin? <laughs> Please tell me it does. I'm pretty sure it does. <laughs> I am the champ. I'm dude. That's my Macho Man. If you don't know who Macho Man is, then you're just not old school. I'm calling dibs on this. I am now back at my home office. I've met with the garbage removal people. Uh, the dumpster, as you saw, has been put in a place. So we met with the dumpster people. And then I got permission from the court officer that you know it's okay to leave as long as there's somebody in charge. And uh, you know the, the person that's removing all the trash and such, uh, he's in charge of his crew. And I said, you know, he'll be in charge of you know the property. So communicate with him uh, what can go, what's not trash. And you know, just the way the system works, that, that court officer is there. Uh, pretty much to protect both parties, just making sure that we're not throwing stuff away that we shouldn't be. But point being, that all is going on now. And when it comes to business and, you know, just kind of, I guess, life in general, you know, the, the most valuable commodity out there is time. And my time is best spent in the office, uh, you know, trading, working on the business, working on the real estate and all that stuff, lining up the next phases of, you know, this project. So as far as uh, where this is going to go, uh, I will definitely keep you updated. And I'm thinking I just want to resell it again on land contract. So, uh, but you know, real estate can always change. 
So we'll just kind of see how the next uh, you know, several weeks uh, unfold and I will keep you updated on that journey. In regards to uh, the, the first video I did where I explained you know, what my strategy was, got really, really solid feedback, a whole lot of likes, and a lot of people say, hey Clay, I would be interested in learning more, especially if you put together some sort of course. So I am gonna do a real estate course. So down below, you can click on that link and that's gonna take you to a page where you can sign up for uh, an, an email list where I will keep you up to date on the course. You know, it's still gonna be a ways out before I'm done with it. I'm just not gonna rush anything out there if you've ever taken my courses before. You know that uh, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're well worth the money, but that means I can't put them together overnight. It takes time and I'm not gonna rush anything out there. So, uh, but if you are interested in keeping in the loop on that course, again, just go to the link that's down below, uh, sign up there and we will keep you, uh, you know, updated on that. I promise you're not gonna get a million other emails about different things. It's gonna be strictly on uh, you know, the, the course and when it's released and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so again, if you were one of those people that are interested in learning more about real estate, then again, you can check out that uh, link down below. But at this point in time, the plan is to sell it on a land contract, but uh, I, f I fully plan on you know, walking us through the entire process here as it unfolds. So uh, for now, we'll just have to kind of sit back and see how this real estate journey unfolds.